The will of a king is undoubtedly one of the most important documents in a royal context. It dictates how a monarch's assets will be distributed among his successors. Given the age and health of King Charles Roman III, there has been recent interest in revising his will. Apparently, there has been a push to update this document. Taking advantage of this news, I would like to address another matter concerning Kate Middleton and Prince Charles. This isn't about conspiracy theories, but rather a different perspective and anti-monarchical view. Interestingly, the Windsor family has been a target of such sentiments, particularly focusing on Queen Camilla rather than the late Princess Diana. There are various reasons for these sentiments, which I'll explore further in connection with the will. In January, King Charles delegated certain responsibilities to his son and daughter-in-law. These Republican attacks, as we might call them, have intensified especially against Queen Camilla, who is often accused of acting with impunity within the British royalty. On Easter Sunday, during a mass, British newspapers and tabloids omitted the fact that there were protesters chanting against the monarchy as the royals arrived at Worcester Castle. These protesters were part of an anti-monarchist group called Republic, which advocates for a transition from a monarchy to a republic. Their vision is not of a republic like the United States or France, but more akin to Italy or Germany. Republic argues that traditional aspects like the royal guards can be maintained without a monarchy, suggesting that the royal palaces, funded by taxpayers, could also be managed without royal Occupants, Camilla is particularly unpopular both in the UK and internationally, and she is especially disliked by her stepchildren. This isn't the first time Camilla has faced such opposition. Royal experts and journalists from the Royal Rota have noted that she is prepared to confront Republicans directly, a stance that contrasts with the expected diplomatic silence of the monarchy. I recommend visiting the Republic website for more information. Now let's delve into the topic of King Charles's will. There are two notable news items regarding King Charles Roman III and his children. One concerns his will, and the other a tabloid report suggesting he regrets not being stricter with his sons, William and Harry. This is surprising, considering Harry's book depicts King Charles as a rather distant father. The image of young William and Harry walking behind their mother's coffin is seared into public memory, and Harry has expressed his trauma from that period. The will itself, however, remains shrouded in mystery. The contents of royal wills are typically kept secret for 90 years, so we cannot be certain of any recent changes. Nonetheless, despite recent tensions, Prince Harry and his children might still be included in King Charles's will. There is growing concern in the UK about the health of King Charles Roman III and Kate Middleton. Transparency is a major demand from Republican movements, who argue that royal health issues should not be kept secret. Recent cyber attacks on the London Clinic, allegedly by Russia, China, or Iran, have intensified these calls for transparency. The public is curious about the future of the monarchy, particularly whether Prince William will ascend the throne soon. The monarchy's financial benefits to the UK are often debated, with Republic disputing the claim that royal events significantly boost tourism. Speculations about future monarchs include figures like Princess Anne and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Edward and Sophie, who have been taking on more royal duties. As for the will, its contents and implications will undoubtedly spark further discussion. Queen Camilla's influence and her complex relationship with the royal family add another layer of intrigue to this ongoing saga. For those interested in more details, the Republic website offers insights into their vision for the UK future. Meanwhile, we'll continue to follow developments regarding King Charles's will and the broader dynamics within the royal family. Subscribe to stay updated and support the channel for more insights and discussions on these topics. Thank you for watching.